Hello, my name is Faith Atua and welcome to my very first video. My channel is going to be about reading and writing. I am a new author, I have a book on Kindle called Call of the Void. I won't talk about it anymore in this video, but if you are interested, the link will be below. I thought I would introduce myself by showing you my favourite book and the book I least liked in the whole world. Now, I am very aware that reading is a personal choice, so if what I say offends you about my least favourite book, I am not saying you have bad taste in books. It is a personal opinion and I will tell you the reasons I don't like it, but I will start with the book that I love. This book I could read over and over again. It is like crack. I love this book. And it is by Audrey Niffenegger and it is The Time Traveller's Wife. Now I read this every year and I've read it for about five, six years and I fall in love with it over and over again. I love Claire, the main character, Claire Abishai and the other main character which is Henry de Temple and he is beautifully flawed and he is my dream man and I love him. You know, this book is about their life and how people's life change and grow as you grow older. It has small details when you first read it, you think, is this essential? And you learn that it is, everything comes together in the end. And, you know, this isn't a book for the cheerful. I'm just saying, if you're feeling depressed, I wouldn't go near this book. But if you like to be tortured mentally, go for this book. The characters are so real. I cried my heart out and I've only ever cried at two books in my life and it is this one and Fault in Our Stars by John Green. I mean, their life is set up for disaster and they make the best of it and then up and down. I don't want to say too much in case you're currently reading this book or you're planning to, I don't want to have any spoilers. But please give this book a go. I mean, you even look at the cover, it is so beautiful. I mean, don't even have to judge a book by its cover, but... I admit that I do, like if I see a nice looking book I'll go for it and everything about this book. Oh, it's so beautiful. Mm. My least favourite book, and I can't tell you all the reasons why I hated this book, and it is The Snow Child. Now I was so excited to read this, I saw it in a shop and I was like, oh my god, that is such a me sort of book. And it is based on an old legend or an old fairy tale from what I can remember about this family that can't have kids and they build a little snow girl and she comes alive and it started off with so much promise and I oh, I don't know how I got through the whole thing but I did. I think I was pleading with the book that it would change and that I would end up loving it but if anything I hate it honestly. There was a whole chapter dedicated to growing potatoes and I know it's supposed to show how hard life is in the era it's set in and I think it's set in Alaska in the 1920s. I understand that, that life was hard but I didn't need to know how you grew potatoes in Alaska in 1920 and honestly I still don't care and in the end of this book what the hell like everything the author had written at the beginning it went against at the end. Oh the best thing about this book it wasn't any longer like that's how I feel about it. But this, this should be kept in a glass box and admired by everyone. I mean, I mean, it's annoying when a book has so much promise and it lets you down. I think at the end it says, it hints there's another one. Please. I don't want to read another one. I won't be reading another one. Please, 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 no. Yeah, so anyway, read this. Stick with it to the end, because sometimes you will be like, what is going on? But it, it all makes sense. And I have told a few of my friends to read this, and one of them just texted me saying, my eyes hurt from crying. But she said it was amazing. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. There will be a video every week about a book review. If there's any books you really want me to review, I'm more than happy to. Uh, if you'd like to tell me what's your least favourite books in the whole world, or your most favourite, I'd be more than, you know, I'm very interested to hear that. If you have any more ideas of what you'd like me to do, or if you'd like to hear any more about my own book, please comment below. Thank you very much. Bye.